Hello everyone, my name is Suraj Ramesh, Product Manager for OCI Fullstack DR. This is part 2 video of our Fullstack Disaster Recovery Integration Series with Oracle Integration. So in this video, I am going to step you through the entire process of how to create the Fullstack Disaster Recovery Resources for integrating with Oracle Integration. In the previous video, my colleague Bonnie Rocky has stepped you through all the details of how to set up the disaster recovery solution for Oracle integration. In case if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend to watch that video first and then come back to this video. We have two OCI regions. We are going to use OCI region Ashburn as our primary region, OCI region Phoenix as standby region. We have deployed the integration in both regions. And for the full stack DR configuration, we are going to use a moving instance for hosting the scripts related to the Oracle integration. Since we are using the moving instance, we have to associate the block volume as part of the moving instance. So let's get started with creating all these components into the full stack DR. I have logged in into the OCI console. The first tab is Ashburn region and the second tab is Phoenix region. So let's first create the full stack DR protection groups. Hit create protection group, provide a name. And select the object storage bucket and hit create while the protection group in ashburn is getting created let also create a protection group in phoenix region oic phoenix select the object storage log and hit create we can see both the protection group in ashburn and phoenix are showing as active so let's associate the role Select the OIC Ashburn protection group and hit associate. Select the role as primary. Select the peer region as Phoenix and select the peer protection group as OIC Phoenix and hit associate. Now we need to add the necessary members into the full stack DR protection group. Let me take to the architecture diagram once. So we have to add the members for the moving compute instance where we host the OIC related scripts and also the associated block volume group. So go back to the Ashman protection group, go to the members section, click add member, select resource type as compute and then we have to select the compute instance which we have the OIC scripts and then select the instance as moving instance and click add unique mapping. We have to provide the VCN destination VCN compartment, the VCN name. Similarly, we have to provide the subnet. And then I'm going to hit add. And once the VNIC details are added, click add. Now the compute member is added. Let's add the volume group. Click add member. Select the resource type as volume group and select the volume group the relevant to that compute instance and hit add. Now let's create the secure and failure plan. The DR plans has to be created from the standby DR protection group region. So I've navigated to the standby DR protection group region from the Phoenix region. Go to the resources section, click plans and hit create plan. Provide a plan name. I'm going to give a plan name to switch over to Phoenix and then select the plan type as switch over and hit create. While the switch over plan is getting created, let's also create a failover plan. I'm going to name as failover for Phoenix and select the plan type as failover and hit create. First click to the switch over to Phoenix. So these are the built in plan groups has been created by the Switch over plan by the full stack DS service. Let's quickly enable this housekeeping plan groups. Click terminate compute instance, enable all steps. Similarly, terminate volume groups, enable all steps. Again, these are optional, but since I want to make it cleaner, I want to enable these two plan groups. So as part of the next task, we have to add all the custom plan groups for the Oracle integration recovery steps. In our GitHub repo, we have all the scripts available 
and also in specific order which script has to be used with the right parameters. In the next video we will discuss the details of the scripts but let's step back to the plan and then we'll add all this plan groups in a specific order. Okay, let's add the user defined plan groups. Click add group, provide the group name. The first group name is sync schedule parameters from primary to standby and add after the built-in pre-checks and select add step. The region we have the compute in Ashburn region since we will select the Ashburn region. Select run local script, select the compute VM and these are the script parameters, run as user as OPC and leave the rest of the values as default and hit add step and then hit add. This plan group has been successfully added so now add the rest of the plan groups. The second plan group would be select add group. We have to create a plan group for activating the relevant integration at standby and this should be placed right after the launching instance as we are going to recover all the steps in the DR region for the Oracle integration cloud and select add step, select the region as Ashburn instance, script parameter. OPC and then hit add step. Verify the details and hit add. Now let's add the next plan group. Select add group. Provide the group name. This has to be after the activate relevant integrations at standby. Hit add step. Provide the step name. Select the compute instance then provide the parameters OPC and leave the details add step after verifying hit add the start schedule integrations at standby user defined group has been added now next add the fourth user defined plan group click add group provide the group name this has to be after the start schedule integrations at standby. Click add step. Provide the details and select the region of the compute VM. Once those details are provided, provide the script parameter. Run user as OPC and add step. Verify the details and hit add. The update DNS at standby user defined group has been added. Now let's add the last user defined plan group. Click add group. Provide the user defined group name. This has to be after the DNS step. Click add step. Provide the step name. Select the region. Compute instance provide the parameter details and provide the username and hit add step and verify the details and hit add. The last user defined plan group has been added. So with this we have customized the switchover plan with the five user defined plan groups which is required as part of the Oracle integration recovery process. Again, you could verify the steps in the GitHub repo and then you could make the necessary addition in the DR plan. Now it's time to perform the pre-checks. So you could navigate to the plan section and then click the switch over to Phoenix. Run pre-checks. Provide a name or else you can leave the details as an optional and hit run pre-checks. Now we could see the pre-check has been completed successfully. So all the required pre-check steps has been marked as succeeded. Now it's time to perform the actual switchover plan. Navigate to the plan section. Click execute DR plan. Select the switchover plan. Since I just executed pre-checks, I am going to disable it. But as a best practice, you could enable it. I'm going to leave the plan execution name as optional. So once we execute 
the DR plan that the Oracle integration service running from Ashburn region will be transitioned to the Phoenix region. So click execute DR plan. So all the recovery steps as part of the plan has been showing us queued and we will show once the plan has been completed successfully. The secure plan which we executed has been completed successfully. Let's verify the all the plan groups which is part of the secure plan. So everything is showing us succeeded. And you could also see the time it took for the entire plan execution. Let me also show you a couple of things. Since the plan has been executed successfully, the full stack DR will automatically swap the DR production group role. So now the Phoenix production group will showing us primary. The Ashburn production group is showing us standby. Now let's verify the application, the Oracle integration from the service console. So I'm going to open up a new tab and hit the URL. I can see the Oracle integration console has been loaded successfully. Okay, what I'm going to do next now is since we move the service from primary region, which is Ashburn to the standby region, DR region, which is Phoenix. Now the OIC integration service is running from Phoenix region. So we need to, if we want to switch back or fail back from Phoenix region to Ashburn region, we have to create the necessary plans in the Ashburn DR protection group region. So I've navigated to the Ashburn DR protection group. It is showing a standby rule. I'm going to create plan. Switch over to Ashburn, select plan type and create switch over. Similarly, I'm going to create a plan for the failover as well. And select the plan type as failover and hit create. Both the plans which we have created are showing us active. Click the switch over to Ashburn, it has the built in plan groups. Similarly, click the failover plan which has the built in plan groups. So, I'm not going to go through by adding all the user defined plan groups, what I did for the initial section of the video. So, you could simply follow the similar process, right, by using the GitHub document and add the necessary user defined groups with the right parameters for both switchover and the failover plans. So, with this, we have seen how you can use full stack DR to automate the recovery process for. Oracle integration. In the next video, Boni will talk about the script whatever we have used in this video in details. Thank you for watching.